Hey, what's up? It is time to open the mail. Um, shit. Normally I at least slice these bitches open, but today we're just going to do it on camera. Um, I am getting ready for kind of an exciting week. I am doing my first D&D campaign starting tonight. Um, I built my character. I'm going to be a satyr artificer, so that should be fun. And the first item we open today is... Ooh, it's a hoodie from Liquid Death. Um, for those of you that don't know, Liquid Death is a water company. And I think this just answered the question of what the heck is in this heavy ass box. <laughs> Hopefully this is my water. Um, like everywhere else on the planet, I'm trying to move away from single use plastics, but, um, I hate cleaning out water bottles because they're hella fucking gross. Uh, man, my language today. Oh, I got a potty mouth. Someone give me a spanker. Yes. All right. That's what's up. So I have these brand new liquid death water in a recyclable can. And the great thing about aluminum is that it is infinitely recyclable. And I feel like liquid death. gonna be the water for me because this is fucking hardcore bro um are you hydrated I'm hardcore. <laughs> uh, fuck yeah. Perfect timing because I am getting back to the lifting gym today, which I haven't done pre COVID, obviously. So, uh, making sure that I have appropriate hydration is fucking perfect. <laughs> uh, I also need to go get new lifting shoes because I normally lift in um, boxing sneakers. Mine are completely worn out. Crazy. It's been a weird couple years, huh? Um, what else do I got today? Uh, oh, something from the apartment building. Is it a noise complaint? Is it a noise complaint? Did they find out that I shoot naughty videos in here? Let's see. We're just not allowed to have drones in the courtyard. Cool, cool, cool. Noted. I don't even have a drone. Um, I'm really excited about this Liquid Death swag. Uh, I love this freaking t-shirt. I want to rip the, the sleeves off of it, but the thing is, my boobies are too big for that. If I take the sleeves off of something, it is like not just side boob, it's like side nipple and then like side getting arrested for indecent exposure. <laughs> But, hella cute, right? What else do we have today? I don't have a ton of stuff today. I think that's probably a good thing. Either I am getting out into the world and shopping less online, um, or I'm just opening my mail more often. Oh, hells yeah. Okay, this is definitely a wish list gift. Let's see if there is a note. <gasps> Brad, thank you. Oh my gosh, what did we get from the wish list? If you're curious about my wish list, I'm always updating it. It's uh, there's a link in the bio with some links to some other fun things. Okay, we're definitely gonna be shooting a video on this because this is the tiniest bikini I have ever seen. It looks tiny on the model, but on these curves, it's. it's disappear <laughs> um whoever came up with micro bikinis i love you and you're a weirdo and thank you <laughs> what else did brad got me from the witch list uh zazzy shirt hello in living color let's party mm, i love a statement button up 
Thank you so much, Brad. And there's one last thing. Oh, Brad knows what a girl really needs. And that is infinite numbers of bike shorts. I wear these under all my sundresses because I cannot sit like a lady. And, <laughs> and they're more comfortable than most underwear. So I get, so Brad got me these in this package of multiple colors. So something to go under my sundresses, which will also be great because LA is starting to experience weather. We got all the way down to 60 degrees and I am freezing. Note the hoodie. <laughs> and things are only gonna keep getting hotter around here. Um, and I only have one last thing and this was a gift to myself. I love floral patterns. If I was to describe my decorating style, the, this kitchen is not an example of it. Um, it just came like this, but my bedroom, I'm definitely kind of doing like a grand millennial thing, which is like grandma's house meets millennial. And then my living room is uh, kind of like, um, I don't know if Sherlock Holmes and Jack the Ripper had a gentleman's club that they went and hung out at. Um, something along those vibes. Uh, so, I guess traditional with a twist is how I describe my style. And I treated myself to vintage sheets recently. Ah, because, as you might guess, I'm a little hard on my sheets. Um, and I think these are them. Yes. These are vintage Ralph Lauren sheets. These are from 1987. Don't worry, this is something called dead stock, which means that these were manufactured, packaged, and then never sold. So uh, if you are a member of my other site, you can probably see a video featuring these in the near future. So thank you for joining me for opening the mail, and I'll see you when I see you. And again, hydrate or die, bitches. <laughs>